Ezra, the right to I. I have known about God and his love for me my entire life. Um, when I was about uh, seven or eight, I said a prayer to accept Christ, but I believe it was just a prayer. I don't believe that I, uh, the Holy Spirit came into my heart at that point in my life. So from that day on, I didn't have any change. Um, I lived for myself. But throughout my whole life, I know that God has always been with me through everything. He's always been there right next to me. I've been the typical go through the motions church kid my entire life. I um, I knew what I was supposed to do. I knew I thought it was like what I needed to do. Like it was just what people expected of me because even though I wasn't saved, my environment was still a very godly one. I did believe there was a God and that like in in the Bible, but I didn't put any thought into it or live for God in any way. So as I got older, the more freedom I got, the more I did my own thing, and um, the more I got in trouble. My heart was the farthest from God, and my behavior got the worst when I was in ninth and 10th grade. I did not trust God for happiness at all. I, uh, I did whatever I felt like. I just lived for happiness, moment to moment. I didn't want to think about God or heaven or hell because I knew in the back of my mind that that's where I was headed if I didn't change. I, uh, I've always been a, a person that's wanted everyone to like me and I've always been sort of a people pleaser and I know people like to hear usually and I can uh, usually be one of the kids that can be friends with multiple groups of people even if they don't even like each other. So, uh, but I, uh, so during this time, I, I just praise the Lord for my, my parents, and especially my dad, because he saved me from so much more trouble I could have gotten into if I, uh, if I didn't have him to always be correcting me. Or someone who then used to think like me. <laughs> <laughs> he was always there to punish me for, for all the things I did, and, and he never gave up on me either. In the summer between my sophomore and junior year, I, uh, I reached my worst state. I was doing things I never thought I would do a couple years before. Um, but my father is very good at finding out my sin and not only disciplining me, but uh, he would talk to me. And um, I really did take the talks to heart as much as I didn't want to. All while I was growing up, there was something deep down in me that that knew the whole time who I was was wrong. The Holy Spirit was always there saying, Nathan, stop being this way. This isn't what you were meant for. But every time I just rejected God over and over, I told him living for me was more fun than living for him. But God never gave up on me either. Then my junior year started, and that's when God started working with me, um, especially through my... Uh, my two closest friends, Adam Sidner and Andrew Dupre. That last school year, I really saw a difference in my friend Adam. He was a lot closer to God and um, wouldn't talk about the same stuff. And he was just he was just different. And he uh, he really influenced the guys in my school well. And I I like I respected it, but I didn't really I didn't think it was like a big deal. I I didn't really, I was like, well, yeah, I guess it's wrong, but I mean, it's it's whatever. But and then, so his, uh, he was a really good influence to me. He really, like, that was sort of planted a seed. Um, and also, uh, with Andrea, she would always point out to me what I would do that was wrong. And during that year, I really felt like God was, was with me the whole time. The Holy Spirit was there guiding me. I will go all across. And, and God's Just plan for me. Um, during the summer, I was at uh, Gitche Gimme and then a mission trip. And right after I got back from Gitche, it was like during that week, something like I, it all of a sudden sort of clicked. 
I totally, like, when I got back from Gitchi, I, I read my Bible for a couple hours, I prayed, and I was like, I don't want to, I need God, God really, it was him, he just, it wasn't anything I did, he just took over, and he changed my heart completely, and so, uh, I understood how horrible of a sinner I was, and I wanted to change, so the Holy Spirit opened my eyes, so, then that's when I started living my life for God. I uh, I no longer had the desire for sin. I had the desire to stop my sin, and I hated my sin from that point. And with the Lord's help, I can uh, live for Him and be closer and closer to Him every day. So now the, the Holy Spirit is now in me, and I want to be baptized to openly confess that. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 